Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert, format and colour bunting and balloons in Word. So the first thing we need to do is to select our colour choices. And the way in which we do that is we hop over to Google, Adobe Colour Wheel, press enter, go down to Adobe Colour here, and then from here you can make a number of selections. So just to make this video a bit shorter, I'm going to simply select Triad. And then what you can do is you can move these circles around. And what Adobe will do is ensure that you have selected complementary, triadic, and a whole range of different colors that will actually go together nicely. So I've selected this color range here. And all I'm going to do is to take a screenshot so on my Mac, that is Command or Control plus Shift plus 4. Then I'm just going to click and drag across the colours. And then I've just taken a screenshot of all those colours. I'm going to go back into Word, up to Insert, Picture, click on Picture from File. And then I'm just going to select my screenshot and select Insert. Now, before I uncheck this image, make sure you're on the Picture Format tab. Go to Wrap Text and go down to In Front of Text. What that will allow you to do now is to move this round any way you like in your document. So I'm just going to pop it down at the bottom here. And then I'm going to go up to Insert and then along to Icons. And you can see here in my Icons palette, I already have balloon selected but if you don't let's just take this out what you will have is a number of different options here in icons but first I'm just going to select bunting and then I'm going to select this icon here click in the circle and go down to insert now before you click away from here make sure you're on the graphics format tab go along to Convert to Shape. This will allow us to edit this icon. Again, make sure you've got the shape selected. Go to Shape Format, go along to Wrap Text and select In Front of Text. And again, this will allow you to move this icon around any way you need to in your document. Now, when you're resizing these images or these icons, in order to keep your ratios correct, so obviously you can see now I can pull and push this. To keep those ratios correct, just hold the shift key down whilst you resize it and it will resize it in the correct ratio. So all I'm going to do is just increase the size of this for the demonstration. And then once your shape selected, if you then click on each of the triangles, you'll see that Word will select each individual triangle and this will allow us to change the color. Go to shape format and then go along to this icon here, Shape Fill. Click on the drop down and go down to More Fill Colors. Here you'll find this little eyedropper tool. Click on it and then you can move over your color palette at the bottom and when the circle moves over your selected color, just click. Once you've clicked, you can see that your color will appear in this square. And then click OK. And not only will this triangle change color, but your selected colour will be up here. And then if I click on the drop down in recent colours, this colour will appear here. And as you can see, I've done this before, and my recent colours have all been selected here. So again, select another triangle, go up to Shape Fill, go down to More Colours, select the eyedropper, over to the colour palette, click OK, and there you have it. So I'm just going to go along and fill out all these colours with the selection that I've made earlier. Perfect. Now once you've finished all that, obviously you can go ahead and change it all as much as you like. And then of course you can just resize it using the shift key. And obviously you can duplicate that if you want to, command or control C, command or control V. Or you can just hit the alt key 
click and drag. Okay, and now onto the balloons. Balloons are a little bit more challenging. So if we go up to insert again, go along to icons, and then of course we've got the icons to the right. Let's just pop in balloons. And I'm going to select this one here. You can select this one if you just want plain balloons and you can just recolor each of these balloons. But I'm going to show you how to do it when it's got an outline like this. Just tick the circle and click insert. Once again, before you click away from this, if you just go up to convert to shape and then make sure you're checked on it again, shape format, wrap text, in front of text. I'm just going to move that down and again hit the shift key where you drag the corner out to resize. Perfect. Now if I click on here you can see that each individual balloon is not selected and Word won't select each individual balloon so we've got to do a little bit of work. The outline of these balloons will remain the same on each balloon. So you can simply go up to shape fill, select the colour of your choice and it will change the outline of each balloon. However, now we need to colour the inside of each balloon. And the way in which we do that is using shapes. So if I go up to insert, shapes and go down to the circle, we can just click and drag a circle out. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, all you've got to do is ensure that you colour cover up all the white of the balloon. Don't worry, we're going to turn this around so it will fit within these borders. Now if you hit the command control and optional alt key, it will allow you to have a smoother transition when moving these shapes. Okay, now we'll go up and take the outline off this shape, which is this icon here. Make sure you've selected the shape and you're on the Shape Format tab. Go down and select No Outline. And once again, you can go to Shape Fill and select the colour of your choice. Now as you can see, this circle is in front of our balloon, so we've got to move them backwards. So again, make sure you're on Shape Format. Go along to here and click on send backwards and as you can see that shape now is behind that outline. Now I'm just going to make a small adjustment here because I can just see a little bit of white there so hitting my command or control key and alt key it's going to move that out a little bit. Perfect. Now we need to do this little bit at the bottom here Again, we can go up to shapes, but this time we can use something called free transform. Go down and it's this icon here, freeform. And here, if you just click your mouse and drag, click again, click again at the corners. And as you can see, I'm just drawing that shape. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this outline again and then along to shape fill and you can see I've already got that pink colour available. Again, go across to send backwards. Now because these shapes are slightly odd, then we can use that free form tool again to create the colour shapes in here. So as you can see, my free form tool is right here. So I can just click on that. And then again, I can just click around the edge of this It doesn't matter if the shape's a bit clunky, as long as it's within the border, then it means your shape will be inside. Okay, and once again, take off the outline, shape fill, and once again, we'll fill that shape, and again, center backwards up to the top, and send backwards up to freeform again okay now once you finish this 
what you'll notice is if I go ahead and try and move this, obviously the outline moves away from the shapes. So what I need to do is I need to group everything together. So if I select every shape, so we'll go along and select all the shapes first, but you need to hold down your command or control key whilst you do it. So let's just select all the colored shapes first. Don't worry about the outline. And then we need to go to shape format and along to this icon here that says group and then select group. Now all of the colors are now selected together in a group. If we then go ahead and select the outline whilst holding down the command or control key, you can see that the two are now selected, the colors and the outline. Again, go up to group and select group. And now you can move the whole lot round together. And of course, you can resize it. And once again, holding down the Alt key, click and drag, and you can duplicate it. Now, if you want to go ahead and center these icons, then all you need to do is select the icon, go up to the Align tool, click on the drop down, and select Align to Center. Do that with the balloons, Align to Center, and then everything's perfectly lined up. Just make this one a little bit bigger. Let's move the balloons down. Perfect. Well, I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.